Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing your love life within this year of 2020. What's coming up for you within the rest of this year? So we have five groups today. We're going to go really in detail, really in depth. So get comfy, get a cup of tea, get some water, you know, get comfy. <laughs> and yeah, so please choose a group. We have group number one, group two, group three, group four, and group five. And we're also going to be putting some crystals on now okay so we have group number one with the clear quartz group number two with the rose quartz group number three with the amethyst group number four with the goldstone and group number five with the jade so choose your group and let's get started also please feel free to pause the video if you need a little bit of extra time so starting off with group number one hello group number one let's get started with your reading let's see what's going on for you in your love life for the rest of 2020 so we have the clear call so this is going to be a very clear energy for you so i feel like the energy of love is going to be just really really clear for you it's going to feel really really easy very very yeah i just keep getting clear clearness feeling very patient very open i feel like you guys are learning to practice patience a lot so i feel like that's gonna be very 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 important for you guys so let's get started let's start off with the first card we have the medallion so this energy here i feel like is you reaching for that really beautiful energy really reaching for that new start and i feel like for you guys this is something you are definitely going to gain this is something you're definitely going to be um reaching for and actually accomplishing i feel like for for a lot of you if you have been single for quite a long time i feel like you've been waiting and watching and trying to figure out when this is going to come in and this medallion here being your love life, you know, this is this is your person right here. So I actually feel like you're going to actually grab it. This this time you're going to grab it. Like before, it possibly felt like it was quite far away. This time it's going to be, you're actually going to be in this relationship. I feel like there is a relationship coming towards you guys. And I feel like this is definitely coming in for you, okay? So next card out, we have Fruition. Wow, that's really beautiful. That's what I'm saying, guys. I definitely feel like you are definitely getting what you've been wanting and things are coming to fruition like you've been really working on yourself and this is the harvest moon and the moon is in cancer right now so i definitely feel like because of this energy moving forward and you're connecting to your emotions i definitely feel like there's an energy of okay i'm going to create what it is that i really really want and therefore i'm just going to wait for this thing to come towards me i'm not going to push it I'm not going to force it. It's just going to come naturally to me. And I definitely feel like for you guys, it's learning to speak your truth and speak your voice and actually push that forward and really initiate conversation with people. Because for some of you, it can be quite hard for you to actually initiate conversation. Um, not with pe not even with people who you are attracted to. It's just actually speaking your truth and speaking up when things aren't right or you're not comfortable with something. So... I definitely feel like you guys are working on that as well. Okay, so we also have passion. So for you guys, you're really working on your passion and energy. You're working on becoming much more comfortable with who you are and you're learning to really step into that passion. And I think, as I said, I feel like because you're working on things that you really enjoy and you love, that's going to then bring in somebody who's also doing the same thing and therefore you're both going to meet in the middle. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer, guys, so you can see the cards a little bit better. Okay, let's see what else we have. We then have generosity. So you're learning to open your heart more, I feel. I feel like you're learning to just become more generous with your time as well. For a lot of you guys, you're very independent, this group, and it can actually be quite hard for you to give that energy to others and because you just want to be independent you know you want your own space you want your own time and sometimes it can be hard to actually bring that wall down and sometimes being independent can actually be more of a wall than it can be actually supporting you so it's it can be almost a blockage for some of you guys but I don't like the word blockage because it makes you feel like you're doing something wrong you're definitely not doing something wrong it's just more about letting things flow more I feel and being generous with your time with others I feel and if there's something that you've been lacking whether it's communication whether it's spending time with people whether it's letting people in there's definitely an element of letting this 
kind of flow more I feel like it's definitely an element of flow coming in for you guys like a lot really really like yeah definitely there we go that's what I was sensing okay I can't pick up this card <laughs> okay there we go so we have open your heart that's definitely what I feel like for you guys it's like you definitely have independency I really feel that and that's very very healthy but there can be like a drop-off point I feel like for some of you guys it's definitely holding yourself back sometimes because you want to be independent and you think that that's kind of all there is to it it's like it can be kind of heartbreaking for you when people are possibly put off by you or they kind of I'm hearing feel almost constricted by you and I think it's because you guys have a certain element because you've been working on yourself so much or you're more of an independent person that's kind of your normal that's your norm you know so the universe is kind of saying to open your heart more and as I say because you are working towards that and you are conscious of that and maybe if you're not conscious of it I feel like that's that you're starting to become more conscious of it that be, this will bring in your person because you're opening up your heart this will bring in your person more and it will kind of give you that space to really accept this person into your life and obviously you know this isn't something you can force this is something that comes with your own timing and that's okay you know that you just need to take your time with it okay but I definitely see somebody coming in for you guys okay so we have the page of pentacles we have the nine of cups beautiful ultimate happiness and we have temperance so this is definitely I feel like relating to what I was just saying about opening your heart I feel like because you guys are learning to have balance that's what that generosity is coming in like the generosity is part of the balance because we have temperance this is you guys balancing that masculine and feminine this is you balancing that independency with openness as well it's like you balancing the masculine and the feminine and masculine is action and feminine is the more inward emotional part of you so you'll learn to balance both of those and therefore manifest somebody who's also in balance and therefore they'll come in that right timing and I do feel like for you guys October is going to be quite a significant month for you whether it be your person coming in in that month whether it's your birthday whether it's you're actually harvesting things I feel like in the month of October very very much so and I am sensing also August as well just a time where there's definitely more harvesting whether it be emotionally whether it be outwardly in terms of like physical manifestations there's definitely some sort of manifestation coming in on one certain month or two certain months and I feel like for you guys as well is you're giving yourself permission to dream and to you're giving yourself permission to be more open in terms of your career as well and therefore that will also manifest somebody because you may actually meet somebody through work where actually you may think oh I'm not qualified for that or I'm not good at that but actually I feel like you're giving yourself permission to give yourself an opportunity to actually even apply for a job that you may not think you're good at but then that actually brings more openness and more conclusion because maybe you feel like oh I'm not good at this and therefore I'm just going to ruin it but actually you taking that leap of faith and stepping into your power and being like no I know I'm good at this it's okay I'm passionate about this enough to do this therefore I'm going to manifest this and when you step into your power and step into something that you may think you're not good at actually it opens up so many more doors because you're stepping more into what it is who you are naturally and you're not suppressing that with your ego or with insecurities you're really just stepping into that and letting yourself feel that so we also have temperance, which is a really, really beautiful energy. As I said, it's to do with the masculine and the feminine. I also feel like this is somebody who they're as balanced as you are. So the more balanced you are within your emotions and the more stable you are, the more you're going to manifest somebody who's like that. So I definitely feel that that's coming in this year. I definitely feel that for you guys. And I, it definitely all starts with you. It definitely all starts with your own energy and your own yeah it starts with your own thoughts and your own actions and you gotta meet the universe halfway you know you can't think oh, I'm gonna like you know let it come to me I mean you obviously we do in a certain way but there's definitely steps that I feel like you're guided to take and I feel like the universe is guiding you to get there as well so I'm going to pull some uh, sacred geometry cards and we're going to see what you're bringing to this energy what's coming to you and what you're bringing in yeah exactly your throat chakra I did mention that so that's cool um so this is what you're bringing to the relationship so if you're struggling with speaking your truth if you're struggling with talking about how you feel 
then this is something that you're probably most likely right now or in the future are going to be tested on. So if something comes up and you're really nervous about it and you're really scared, um, this is going to be a challenge for you, but it, it, it's what you do in the face of that. And all of this is really pointing towards who you are as a person and who you were born to be. It's not copying anyone else is who you are who are you born to be and this is what you're bringing into the relationship so the more you work on your authenticity and who you are as a person who you were born on this planet to be then that is going to bring in your person okay so let's see what this person is bringing to the relationship okay beautiful so you may be learning to as i say open up your heart and therefore because you're opening your heart that is why you're learning to open your heart because this person is also wanting to be intimate with you and therefore that that you'll need to be um you'll need to be open hearted to to let this in so therefore that is why we have intimacy so i love that and it's so cute i also felt the number five and number six and seven is quite prominent for you guys so you could be born on the seventh month that could be like your birthday day something like that i'm actually hearing christmas as well Christmas is something quite important to you, so you may, um, it may be around family where you meet this person as well. We have forgiveness. So yeah, like like you as well, this person is designed to open their heart and therefore that comes with forgiveness. And forgiveness of the self, but also of other people and how they treat them as well. So you both are pretty much on a similar path, which is good because that means we are connecting to the right energy. Because normally, obviously we reflect out what we get back basically and vice versa so if you're giving out this element of openness then somebody else is going to bring that in for you and obviously this comes in divine timing guys like don't put pressure on yourself it's going to be great I feel like this is so so beautiful and I feel like this is just kind of come so naturally so as long as you're being authentic to yourself that's like the most important advice I feel and this person is going to help you to bring union for you so you may have had people who have really hurt you in the past especially the opposite sex I feel even the same sex you know especially for those of you who are females and have female friends I feel like you've had really bad times with female friends and it's caused you to kind of become more independent because you're like well I don't need them you know but actually that can cause more walls I feel like for some of you guys you're like okay but what can I do to help this you know like I can't help feeling scared you know I can't help building a wall up because they hurt me and that's totally fine guys like this person will come in no matter what you're doing but the advice here is to just be as open as possible and to have boundaries you know that's the most important part is the balance between openness and having boundaries and the union energy is both of you coming together we've got four four so you're the four and they're the four and then both together creates this gorgeous stability. So this person will bring union to you. There's not really much you really have to do. But I do feel like the most important advice, as I said, is to open your heart and be more, more authentic towards yourself. And to put it in kind of like human terms, I feel like the best advice to become more authentic is to figure out what is it that you need out of a relationship and also what makes you happy. Like if you're not vibing with something, leave it. You know, if you if you can, leave it alone. Um and if there's another option that will suit you better, then definitely go towards that and keep choosing yourself. That is the most important advice. Keep choosing you over anyone else because that will bring you towards your most authentic part of you and then the, your most authentic partner as well. Part of you and partner, which is so cool. I love that. So um, let's pull some dice and let's see what the universe wants to say about this connection coming forward. All right, so we have Virgo, we then have the North Node first house. So it's literally like when you start choosing yourself, that's when this person comes in and it could be a Virgo, it could be someone with their North Node in Virgo. Um, it could be also that this person or you have a lesson to really focus on organising. The, the tendency to overanalyze can be quite a big thing for you guys, so make sure to kind of be conscious of when you're overanalyzing something because this this teacher i feel who's going to come in the form of a partner is also a teacher you know everyone's a teacher in some way and this person will teach you not to overthink and not to treat yourself like you need to constantly over doubt like doubt yourself you know because that's not what you're here to do you're here to be authentic and if anybody tells you otherwise or tells you you're not good enough or anything just don't listen to those people because 
they're trash <laughs> basically trash um okay so <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys and um if you like this reading then please let me know down below give me a comment a like let me subscribe if you want to and if you like a private reading all my information will be down below and i also do a crystal i also have a crystal shop as well i do sales and discounts on there as well so if you would like to uh, check that out please do down below and i'll speak to you very soon have a lovely day bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading let's see what your love life is going to be like for the rest of 2020 so we have the rose quartz crystal so this is all about love this is unconditional love this is self-love this is coming into union with yourself before you meet your person so very very interesting i like that so all right let's get started with this reading so first card out is the judge and we also have the king so this card has been coming out quite a bit the past uh few days so i feel like for you guys this is definitely the energy of that aries mars it's kind of like bringing things to fruition and really doing something about those things so a lot of the times we can really doubt ourselves and really doubt especially when we're trying new things we can really judge ourselves and be like no i can't do this no it's never going to come true so i feel like for you guys what's really important is to definitely not judge yourself when it comes to this and for some reason hands are very important i mean we have two hands there we have a hand here and this is almost like that center of your center of your world like your heart is a center of your body so i feel like this stamp in the middle of the hand i'm hearing stamp of approval so i do feel like the person who you're going to meet is going to have the stamp of approval <laughs> there's somebody who you've really wanted to meet and it feels like you already know this person you may already know this person but i feel like spiritually you will already know who this person is and we do have the king and the king being a male energy it can be a masculine energy as well it doesn't have to be a male energy but for those of you who are looking for a male i do feel like that's extra confirmation for you this is going to be somebody who is going to have very strong boundaries so for you manifesting this person you will also have very strong boundaries when you meet this person so both of you are probably going to be quite aware of each other's boundaries and you're both going to be very mature i feel i feel like you're going to manifest somebody who's very mature and there's going to be it's definitely an element of because the energies are so rapid and i'm hearing rancid that's not the right word i mean maybe but it feels like the energies are very up and down at the moment and this is kind of that energy it's like different things all the time and different energies kind of being conjured up all the time so there's no kind of like anything you can really hold on to and i definitely feel like that is for a reason it's so we can kind of let go and just focus on ourselves and get closure within ourselves so we don't have to focus on anyone else for that closure and for that safety so i feel like you're really working on that and you're most likely working on quite a strong death process right now and releasing anything that no longer serves you okay so next card out we have hunger so the fact that we have a wolf moon and this being just a very powerful moon this is really conjuring up and Conjuring up a lot of emotions and I feel like this is very much to do with the Cancerian moon that we've just had. I feel like that's a really, really strong connection to that moon. And even if you're watching this a few months after I've uploaded this video, I just feel like you guys are, are going to have a very strong connection to the moon, you and your person. I feel, especially you watching this video, I feel like you have a very strong connection to the moon, whether it syncs with your menstrual cycle, whether it syncs with your emotions, whether it syncs with your brain <laughs> just it syncs with you in some way so i feel like this is going to be a really good time to actually manifest your person and for me i don't feel like in terms of spirituality i don't see any pressure on manifesting on a full moon or any type of moon because i feel like for some for some people it can be quite some people it can be quite daunting to manifest on a full moon or a new moon because sometimes you forget or you know it doesn't have to be on the moon but just know that your your emotions are going to be very very heightened during this time so if you are feeling affected by it just maybe look where the moon is at that time and that's most likely going to be um a great time for you to use your intuition or manifest something but it definitely or it will give you an inkling of what you're going to manifest okay and i feel like this is both of you kind of calling out to each other with this lovely cute little wolf here kind of being like oh <laughs> it's like that little impression um <laughs> 
I feel like for you guys as well, you're very connected to the darkness I'm hearing. So some of you may be Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, I'm feeling. Just very connected to the darkness and nighttime. So this is actually probably quite a good time for you to manifest at night as well. Even if it's just journaling, even if it's just meditating, that can be a form of manifestation as well. Um, and you most likely will be able to get quite strong intuitive hits at night time. It may cause you to lose sleep because you are manifesting even subconsciously or you are intuitively getting like intuitive hits as well. Um, for me, rose like raw rose quartz is a really, really, really good crystal to help you sleep. If you're feeling a bit buzzy or a bit confused or you're lacking in sleep, um, holding rose quartz when you're sleeping, extremely good crystal. It, actually calms you down like for me it really really calms me down i feel like for you guys that could be a really helpful tool and i sell raw rose quartz on my website just because i know it's an extremely beautiful helpful crystal so if you guys would like to check out my crystal store i have that down below as well and i also do discounts and sales and things on there as well so uh yeah so check that out down below if you're interested we have opposition balance that is that here as well i feel like you're learning to kind of conjure up the balance between what is really hitting you right now. So if you're being really affected by energies or a certain person, I feel like you're really learning to ha have discipline around it. Um, and if not, I feel like you will learn to have discipline around it so you don't soak up the energy so much like a sponge. Um, I feel like you're definitely coming into more of an empowered place and you're becoming to, to, you're coming to a more stable place within yourself and therefore understanding what it is that your needs are and what you feel like you need out of life. And I feel like with your aspirations, the more you go towards them and use them as fuel for your creativity and your outward expression and what you give out to this world, I feel like that's when you're gonna meet your person because your person will most likely be doing the same. So the more you're authentic you are to yourself in your journey, the more you're gonna manifest this person coming in, okay? I'm hearing your angels and guides are with you as well. And look out for feathers. I felt like you could put a feather in here, but I didn't actually physically do it. So if you guys see a feather or anything like that, that is extra confirmation and clarification for you guys. So we have live in the now. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've rolled your eyes at this card or you didn't really think twice about it. Um, because for some of you guys, you are definitely thinking about a relationship and it's probably hitting you quite hard. So make sure to ground yourself. You might be getting some headaches as well because my head is just suddenly really, really hurting and it doesn't feel comfortable. It feels like someone's like stabbing my side of my forehead. So uh, just be aware of that. And that can also be intuitive hits coming in. That can also be where your third eye is becoming more open. It can cause headaches. And I definitely had that when I started to do more intuitive work in terms of doing readings and things. Like I've been always intuitive my whole life pretty much, but actually doing readings really kicks it into high gear. So I feel like for you guys, it's going to be um, quite an important time for you to get grounded. And also I just, I feel like there's definitely a strong connection to circles and mirrors and things like that for you guys. Like I'm really connecting with these shapes here and also the, with the uh, opposition balance card. There's definitely an element of, of things becoming more whole for you. Um, and you seeing manifestations finally, I'm hearing some of you finally. Um, for some reason, I'm sensing this as almost like a sandwich. So I'm seeing when um, like kids' mums like cut off the crust and it's like a perfectly like beautiful sandwich, you know, where they don't have the crust and it just looks really perfect. That's kind of what I'm feeling. It's almost like you're cutting off the raw edges of things um, so you can have more of a clean slate. So it could be come in the form of detoxifying your body. It could come in the form of um, being able to share more as well. You might be able to feel more safe within yourself and therefore be able to share more in terms of your food or with your body or with your heart. Just something to do with becoming more comfortable with sharing and balancing. Yeah, beautiful Queen of Cups energy. That is definitely Cancerium right there. So definitely becoming more comfortable with sharing your heart. I feel, is this in the reverse? No, this is upright, okay. So, this is really beautiful, I love this. This is so cool. I'm gonna bring these cards a little bit more into view so you guys can see them. So this is you, yeah, the Six of Pentacles is, li is literally the definition of sharing. It's like charity work, it's becoming more balanced both sides of the coin. That's an interesting thing. I like the way they said the two sides of the coin. That's cool, I like that. Um, so I feel like you're definitely taking time and being patient. And if you're not being patient right now, it will come, the patience will come. And 
it's all in the layers, you know, sometimes we feel really crap one day, sometimes they feel really good. And it's just working through each of those layers and know each of those layers are valid. And it's not gonna last forever. Like you're not gonna feel this way forever if you are really struggling, you're not gonna feel like that. And it comes in forgiveness as well. It comes in kind of really being patient with yourself and knowing that things will change and um, this too will pass as well. And not everything is, you know, forever. So if you are suffering and feeling kind of stuck or confused or you know you really want a relationship you're you got that hunger for a relationship you will get there guys you will get there and I think it definitely comes in a form of patience and I know that's that can be really hard sometimes especially with this knight of wands and you know that's that's really active energy and this Aries Mars is really pushing us to our limit to the point where we're like okay I can't I can't wait anymore I have to do this thing and that's where that confidence comes in it's really bringing that confidence and you're going to manifest somebody who also has that confidence as well and I definitely feel like going towards what you're passionate about and really focusing on that whether it's researching what you're passionate about whether it's physically doing that thing I'm hearing doing the damn thing (laughs) um that's definitely going to manifest the best parts of you and therefore you're not even going to really think about a relationship when you're in this mode I feel but then that's going to give you the space to really manifest somebody to come into your life. And this is kind of giving me that vibe here. So this is giving me like the three of swords vibe and this is giving me the knight of wands vibe. So you're moving through the, both of these energies, which can be really stressful because it's like inward, outward, inward, outward, shake it all about, do the hokey cokey. <laughs> um, yeah. And it can co- come in the form of drama as well. You may be in the middle of drama right now and it will change. It will move and you will get there guys. You will feel much more confident are much more comfortable where you're at okay so let's have a look looking for more of this person let's see who they are so we have 10th house oh scorpio love that and then we also have neptune so neptune is a really really deep emotional planet it's like it's extremely watery pisces rules neptune neptune rules pisces so this energy is very very powerful and this person who comes in is also a very powerful manifester like you and the 10th house is all to do with the career. So you're most likely going to meet this person through their career. Um, you or this person may have a career to do with transformation, to do with intimacy, counselling, therapy, something like that. Um, but it could also be to do with just um, nurturing in some way, in terms of emotional nurturing. So in some way, you will be helping people um, in, in your way, in your specific way. And I feel like you're helping people to grow. And that can, that can come in the form of you guys going through a lot of rubbish yourself and therefore that helps you give other people more satisfied advice I'm hearing like satisfied confirmed advice because you've gone through it yourself so therefore when you meet your person you they may actually be a client of yours as well depending I'm hearing depending on your age so I'm hearing if you've if you're doing a course or something that's more to do with the fact that you're most likely doing it for a job then I feel like that's when you're going to meet your person so it's not I don't feel like it's gonna be like the first year of uni or anything like that it feels more to do if you've done a course of say like a year or a few months um it just feels like you're on the journey towards your person so it's either you meet them at physically at your work and they're a client or they're a colleague or you meet them through like education so it's like the quite a few years into a course or it's when you're literally starting a course straight away and then that person is on that course I hope that makes sense but obviously it's going to be different for uh, for all of you guys. So let's have a look and see what you're bringing to this relationship. Yeah, exactly. That balance. That's exactly what I was feeling. And then we've got another circle as well, the yin-yang sign. It's definitely that light and the dark coming in. My nose is so itchy. Oh, spirit's really going for it. We have freedom. So yeah, freedom from um, holding yourself back. And I love how we have bold exploration and we have aspirations. So we literally have the same energy right there. There's definitely a lot of like solar plexus, sacral chakra stuff going on. Let's get one more. Here in the number five, right, really strongly. Like five, it's like shouting at me. Okay, we've got two. There we go. There's that third chakra. We have the solar plexus, which is literally what I just said. So it's the awareness of... Um, what you're bringing to the relationship and not judging yourself. It's literally just being your authentic self. And um, it says the energy of awareness supports our capacity to focus our attention on all aspects of a multi 
dimensional world so that we can create a reality that we truly choose. Wow, that is a mouthful. Okay, so this is what this what your person, your future partner is going to be bringing. There we go, beautiful, the root chakra. So your person is gonna be bringing in some physical manifestations. So most likely when you meet this person, you're most likely, yeah, definitely starting like a new career or you're getting the um, justification that you're on the right path. So you're gonna start seeing more money coming in, you're gonna start seeing more clients, that sort of thing, or more attention on you sort of thing. Okay, this person's gonna be very intuitive. I mean, they, if they have that Neptune Scorpio energy, that's extremely intuitive. So this person's gonna be very aware of you even before you meet them. So you could have a heightened awareness when you're around this person as well. You think, wow, I didn't know I was that intuitive. I'm hearing that from you guys. You're, you're sensing like, I don't, I'm hearing, I didn't know I was that intuitive. This person has a very strong presence. They're very grounded, like they're very earthy. So I do feel like this person could be a water sign or a earth sign. And they're very much, oh yeah, we had them divine masculine as well. So your person could be the divine masculine. Um, I do feel like that is most likely your person, not you. So obviously that doesn't resonate. Obviously just take it as it resonates, guys. This is a general reading. So I feel like as well with the presence card, this person's gonna be really present with you, which is so attractive, I feel. It's like, I'm here for you, no one else. I'm gonna concentrate on you. And it's just us too right now. It's not them, it's not they, it's just us. You know, it's no, nobody else is included in this relationship, just me and just you. Because you know, we can bring in other people, you know, where it comes to the point where we feel judged, you know, and we feel that there's a pressure. Sometimes, especially if it's a religious family you ha um, you're included in, or it's a family where they just put a lot of pressure on you. I feel like it's just understanding that and putting boundaries up around your relationship and knowing like, you, giving it an, as much information as you want to give and not forcing, not needing to like tell people about it unless you're ready, okay? And I definitely feel like, this is so interesting with the candles, can you see like this one's really like lit up and this one's kind of like just quite low down. So I definitely feel like your person, because they're the root chakra energy, they're more kind of in the, um, in the energy of that divine masculine, more fiery. This energy feels more watery, more almost submissive. So I feel like both of you are gonna exchange energies and therefore this is going to become more fiery and there, there's gonna be that balance. So I feel like you're in this mode right now where you're just discovering who you are and you're discovering what you feel like is comfortable for you and therefore you both, when you come together, it's like phew, massive fire. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. If you like a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you wanna check out my crystal shop, that is also down below. I also do sales and discounts, so that is there for you also. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and I'll speak to you soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. So let's have a look and see what your love life's gonna be like for the rest of 2020. We have the gorgeous Amethyst. I feel like for you guys, your relationship's gonna be very relaxed and I feel like your love life is gonna be very, very intuitive. So I feel like for this group, you are very, very intuitive. You're very tuned in. And if you don't really kind of class yourself as someone who is intuitive, I feel like we are all intuitive in some way. So I feel like your intuition may be different from others in terms of how you receive messages and things like that. So just because you aren't maybe as intuitive as somebody you know or somebody you look up to or anything like that, it doesn't mean you're not intuitive. Everyone has their own way. And I'm seeing you guys drawing and that's like your intuition coming out. So if you guys are very creative in terms of drawing or scribbling, like coloring, writing, you know, that could be some really good form of manifestation for you as well. So let's see at these first energies, we have Eros and we have the Eternal Child. Wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, and then we also have Self Reflection. Okay, I'm gonna pull this other card out here as well because I feel like that is connected. Reverse, nope, upright, okie dokie. So I'm hearing it all starts with you and that's definitely been a, a very strong message for this reading today. A lot of people are getting that within the group. So I feel like with this energy right now, especially with the Aries, Mars, Cancer, Moon situation going on, this is causing us to have a lot of self-reflection and therefore it's then bringing up a lot of fear because we're going inwards and because there is a lot of obviously, I want to say chaos energy in some way, it's, you know, everything is different from what we know right now. Everything is changing. And I'm hearing the song, Everything is Changing by Ella Eyre. I'm pretty sure her name is. Um, and maybe it isn't by Ella Eyre. I'm not entirely sure, but there's definitely that 
song coming in so if i'm wrong then just let me know um but i definitely feel like for you guys you're you're looking into more of yourself and that is causing you to realize things about yourself and it can come in the form of feeling unsafe feeling scared and that's okay because within that scared place it when you come out you're a new person you know you you release those old layers of yourself and therefore you discover who you really are and who that where that power comes in and this is that power here this is your solar plexus so if you guys are feeling anxious recently or you've been feeling like 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 on a rocky boat like things just are just are filling up things are filling up too much and sometimes you may feel a bit like almost like you're drowning that is very normal and it, i'm not saying that it's good you know it can be very uncomfortable but through this time of being in a hermit mode when you come out of it you are so much more powerful you know and really give yourself a pat on the back and say i am freaking amazing because having anxiety or feeling that fear is freaking scary you know it can be extremely terrifying and not everyone can do it and a lot of people numb their emotions with alcohol or you know distraction or travel you know they try to almost just, just distract themselves from that so give yourself a pat on the back that you're really going into your emotions right now and if you are distracting yourself i'm not saying that's a bad thing guys like sometimes we just need to because obviously life can get too much um but for those of you who need to meditate or haven't really been meditating make sure to meditate guys because this is you're, you're really in a very potent stage right now and there can be a lot of drama coming up whether it's in your mind whether it's outwardly um there is definitely a need to kind of rebalance yourself a lot um and i'm seeing here this kind of looks like a heart with this book so i feel like there is definitely an element of self-love coming in so that's going to be very very important and we have the waning gibbous moon twice we have the waning gibbous moon two and waning gibbous moon one 11 and 17 so it's definitely an element of something coming to completion like two parts of you are coming together so that's why you might be feeling quite anxious because you're starting to realize things and things are starting to like come up as layers but it doesn't mean it's anything bad like anxiety feels bad but actually it's just your body trying to protect you so just thank that part of you that is trying to protect you and love you because you know we all get anxiety in different ways so what's really important for you is to nurture that inner child and tell yourself that you are a freaking gorgeous human being you are on this planet for a reason you know and there was a, a quote that lee harris said if you guys know lee harris is someone on youtube he's amazing he does he, do, he does monthly energy updates and he said that basically our soul is so like our body is so um i remember what he said what did he say he said like our bodies are so fragile that basically our soul could literally leave our body at any time so the fact that you're here right now is so damn important you are here for a reason and that is definitely the energy i'm feeling it's like sometimes you can feel very shaky and that's okay you know just nurture yourself in any way you can but there's definitely some gorgeous fruitions that's going to come out of this so and that was a, bit, that was a lot a lot to say there guys but there's definitely some goodness coming out of all of this okay so let's see what else we have ground yourself yep 100 percent. there's definitely a lot of overthinking for you guys so grounding yourself is really important i feel like this hematite's almost like this little diamond so the more you ground yourself the more you're going to just everything's just going to become easier i feel so grounding yourself can come in the form of sitting on the grass it can come in the form of meditation it can come in the form of just being silent and not looking at your phone turning off your wi-fi um, and just becoming completely still in the silence and just really focusing on your breath or focusing on like imagining roots going into the ground that sort of thing okay right let's see what else we have yep gratitude that is something really important i feel like i mean i know a lot of people say gratitude is very important but it actually is like extremely important and sometimes we can forget that so gratitude you could practice through um writing writing what you're grateful for and one thing that really helped me was writing three things that i did in the day and even if they were like super super small that could be like a really big achievement for you whether it's getting out of bed making yourself a cup of tea um going outside you know that sort of thing like writing three things a day for like 28 days is actually pure life changing it's incredible um and we also have the element of communication so the person you're going to be manifesting is going to be really really good at communication so most likely you're going to meet this person through online or something to do with a communication tool so it can be through the internet through even a letter of some sort through some sort of like two people like coming together through an element so like the internet or a writing or a course or work or uni it's something in the middle there where both of you are kind of coming together 
So it could be that because you're working on communication yourself, that is why, because you're then this is you manifesting that. And we have that beautiful blue bell. Um, and blue bell is purple, and this is to do with your intuition. So it's definitely a purple element today. I love lilac. Lilac is my one of one of my fave colours, as you can tell by my candles. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what else. We have the page of cups, seven of pentacles, the hermit, seven of pentacles. And the four of wands. Did I say the four of pentacles? I hope I did. I swear I said seven of pentacles twice, but that's just my brain at the moment. So there we go. You guys are definitely holding yourself close to your heart. And this is coming in actually quite promising because you're giving yourself permission to just be by yourself. And I think that's an amazing quality because if you can do that, then when you're with somebody, it's not going to feel lonely. You're going to feel complete and whole by yourself. And the more you do that, that means that when you're with somebody, you're, you're going to feel complete anyway, because you're whole yourself. That makes sense. And I feel like, I don't know why, but I'm looking at this card and I'm thinking of Marvel, like the um, the franchise Marvel, but also that you're a Marvel yourself. You can manifest whatever it is you, you want. And sometimes it comes in a very slow form, but it will come. It will come. And sometimes it's divine timing, you know, but the sun will set and I feel like this is a moon here this is beautiful so it's definitely nurturing your inner child especially if you guys are a cancerian we have cancer and quite strong in your chart you are a tool for manifestation you know even if you don't have that in your chart I feel like the moon is a really good manifestation tool so if you can whenever it's like a full moon or a new moon it's a really good time to manifest obviously don't feel pressured because I feel like in the spiritual community people can really pressure you to almost feel like you have to manifest on that time which is not right you know like it's not you don't have to everyone's completely different if that suits you freaking go for it but if it doesn't just understand when there is a full moon and just think hmm is there anything that I feel like I need to do you know and if not that's totally fine then add the page of cups so you're going to be manifesting somebody who could be a Pisces a water sign or, or, or an earth sign it could be okay I'm think, thinking pretty much every sign here um, and we also had the four of wands so you're most likely going to meet this person when you're starting to invest more into yourself and doing things that are more out of your comfort zone and when I say comfort zone it doesn't have to be anything that's too scary it can literally be like I'm hearing going out at night time so obviously safely guys um but it could also be meeting new people starting a group by yourself like you being the leader of that group um going on a community online and things like that you know like really giving yourself permission to express yourself and to give yourself permission to experiment more in different ways it could be experimenting with your sexuality as well okay so let's see what else wants to come through with this person that you're going to be meeting Alrighty. so we have the sixth house we have scorpio i love that i think i swear group number two had that as well and then we have mars so scorpio mars oh my god so sensual like that is incredibly sensual and the uh, sixth house is about service. It's about um, your daily routines. So most likely you'll meet somebody through that thing. So if you're a sort of person who wants a job in service or like therapy or counseling, something like that, it could, that be where you'll meet your person. And Scorpios are about transformation. They're about kind of, I'm hearing giving and receiving and also shedding old wounds. So for a lot of you guys, you could be in a job where you help people shed their old wounds. And even that could just be who you are as a, as a person. It might not even be your career. And um, your life purpose doesn't have to be your career. It can just be your hobby. But as long as it fulfills you, that's definitely your, your path, you know. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys know what your path is or you know kind of what you're passionate about. And I think for some of you guys, it's just starting that and that's okay. And some of you guys could start to buy some plants as well and really nurture those plants. And that could be your purpose, you know. Um, and even just getting greenery in your house will be really important. And water is very important as well, I feel, especially for manifestations. I don't really mention a lot about manifesting, but that seems to be coming up a lot in this reading, which is really cool. And this Scorpio Energies person could be a Scorpio that you're connecting with. Um, they are very driven um, sensually, like they have, an, they have intimacy, like they're very connected to their intimacy. So if I feel like that's going to be how you connect is through physical touch, through um, communication, through intimate communication, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that's going to be coming in very strongly. So I feel like, I feel like just get, get ready for it, guys, because it's definitely coming in for you. Okay, so 
Let's see what you're giving to this relationship. What's what you're giving to this relationship? We have duality, yeah. Balancing that masculine and the feminine, getting that balance cut happening for you guys. We have kindness. I love that. So you're bringing kindness to this relationship. And we also have commitment. Yeah, I feel like you guys are extremely committed people. I feel like you're very, very loyal. And in turn, this person will also commit to you. So what is this person bringing to the relationship? Okay, let's go with this one. Authenticity. Originality. I love that. That is so cool. Okay. And both of you are learning from each other as well. So they're going to be learning kindness. You're going to be learning originality. You know, beautiful intertwining of two energies coming together. And then we have literally purple. That's insane. <laughs> so we have the seventh chakra there. So definitely highly intuitive and very sensual relationship. Like I just said, so that's amazing. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. My crystal shop is also down below. I do sales and discounts on there. So if you follow me on Etsy, then you'll get, I think you'll get notified if I'm doing a sale, I'm pretty sure. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what's happening for you guys for the rest of 2020 for your love life. We have the gorgeous tiger's eye. Why don't I say tiger's eye? This is not tiger's eye. <laughs> this is not tiger's eye. This is goldstone. But maybe some of you guys are connecting with tiger's eye. Um, goldstone. So for you guys, um, goldstone is very much to do with the solar plexus and the sacral chakra. It's very much to do with finding what you're passionate about. So I feel like you guys are finding a new passion or you're rekindling an old passion. So you could actually be rekindling an old passion with a certain person as well. So if there's somebody you know and you're like, hmm, and you're thinking about that person right now, I do feel like you could rekindle passion with that person. Obviously, if it's a genuine, authentic relationship, not like a toxic situation. All right, we have the mirror. That is so beautiful. And um, let's see what else we have. What card should we do this one? We have focus. Lots of like blue elements. That's so cute. And we have cancer. Beautiful. So you guys could be a Cancerian. You could be manifesting a Cancerian coming into your life. But also this element of Cancerian is very nurturing. It's it's definitely you're looking into yourself and you're seeing what it is that you need to improve on. But also you've been you're looking into yourself very, very deeply. So there's that element of the moon here and kind of coddling yourself and feeling safe within yourself. And the butterfly is all about transformation. The fact that this is blue could all be also to do with your communication and you're communicating what it is that you want out of a relationship. And this mirror here is also making me think about safety and Cancerians are all about safety. You know, they're all about kind of um, being in that bubble. And also Cancerians and Scorpios have a very similar energy where they obviously the crab and the scorpion, they both have that kind of shell to them. So I don't know, do Scorpions have a shell? If they don't, then I feel like obviously with a crab, they have a shell. So um, you can kind of be in your shell quite a bit. And also maybe um, in the last few days, weeks, months, you could be feeling very internal. And this is leading you towards your partner because there's something that needs to shift and without that internal energy coming in, you would probably not be able to shift it because if you were distracted by outward elements, then it probably wouldn't seem as important. So we'll have the number four and the number one. One is about new beginnings, four is about stability and eventuality I'm hearing, but also um, duality and I'm hearing symbolism there's a word that I can't pick up. What is that word? I can't think of it right now. It'll probably come later on, but I'm feeling that there's definitely um, an element of synchronicities coming in. So if you're sensing a lot of synchronicities or you're feeling a lot of synchronicities, especially with the moon and also bubbles as well, you can have a thing with bubbles, um, then that's going to be a sign for you when your person comes in. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we have. We have tranquility. That's all to do with focus as well. And we have find a way to forgive. So I feel like for you guys, this is you forgiving yourself, but also um, definitely stepping back from your emotions. Like if you feel like you're becoming too internal, really step back from your emotions, maybe meditate, give yourself a break. You know, sometimes we do need a little bit of a distraction to kind of get us shifted. But I feel like this tranquility is, is very much to do with the focus energy. It's very much to do with um, really tuning into your own body and coming to a point of peace. So you can therefore manifest this person easier because then you're not distracted by kind of outward elements and this Rhodonite 
crystal is all about self-love. This is really a very strong crystal. This is a really strong crystal as well for kind of giving yourself permission to love as well. And with this, I don't really connect with the word forgive. I feel like I'm more connected with the word just like love in general. So I feel like, I mean, you could be forgiving yourself um, or forgiving somebody else. And it could come in the form of just releasing somebody out of your life and needing to forgive them and therefore then create space for someone new to come in. But I feel like it could be forgiving yourself for having um, insecurities around maybe if you look in the mirror and you think, oh, I don't really like what I look like today or, you know, things like that. Um, I feel like that's going to be starting to heal. And the Cancer energy is very, very nurturing. And I feel like the person who you're going to meet is extremely nurturing. And they could have a very strong connection to their mother as well. They have a very healthy connection to their mother. And I feel like you do as well. But if you don't, I feel like this person, this, the, this person's mother could basically be your adopted mum. <laughs> I feel like if obviously your connection is not very good. But also, you know, if, it's, if your connection is good with your mother, you know, you could have just a very strong connection with your future partner's uh, mother as well. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, Death and Rebirth, beautiful, Seven of Cups. We then have the King of Swords and the Devil. So there's a very strong energy of going inward and then coming out and transforming. So I feel like for you guys, it's just patience, having patience with your love life and this person you could be manifesting could be a very, very deep person, a very raw. So Scorpionic energy is what I'm feeling really for this group. Um, and also like Capricorn and Aquarius and a lot of fixed sign energy coming in from this group as well. So that could be um, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or what's the other one that I've totally forgotten? Is it Leo? Okay, I've totally forgotten. So I'm sorry, <laughs> my brain's a bit like mush right now. So I hope that <laughs> makes sense. So you're definitely coming out of transformation. And when you come out of transformation, it's starting to feel the new ground. It's kind of like, you know, when a baby starts to walk, it's kind of really confusing for them. That could possibly be what you're doing right now. So you may be in this stage, you may be in this stage, but wherever you are, it's just keep coming back to the moment and know that you are manifesting your person. I'm getting very strong air sign vibes from this group, like Scorpio and air for this group um <clears throat> that could be you or this person i feel like music is also very um nurturing for you guys so if you are thinking about playing drums or something i'm, I'm feeling like these are like drums so you're kind of like banging on some sort of instrument and um, that could be very nurturing for you guys um and communication is very important there's definitely an element of um synchronicities coming through animals so if you are connected to any certain animal. I'm sensing a penguin, it's really random, that kind of came into my mind, and like that element of the black and white, and having fun, like penguins are really freaking cute, and they always, they're always like they're having so much fun. So I feel like you are bringing more of that fun into your life, and um, you're definitely leaving something behind that you no longer, that no longer serves you. And when this person comes in, you might be at a place where you're deciding where your path is, and therefore this person coming in, maybe you're even deciding on this person, if they're the right one, or you're deciding on something to do with your life personally and this person could be part of that new start that you choose to do um but also i definitely feel like where your communication style is starting to become more assertive this is bringing this person in because when you're in a relationship you know you want to be able to communicate with them so if you can work on your throat chakra and relearn to communicate your authenticity and you know your side of the relationship then that's going to manifest a very very healthy connection and this person's most likely going to be very, very sensual as well. Somebody who probably walks around in a house like half naked, you know? <laughs> I really feel that as well. Okay, so let's get a little bit more info on this person. They could have like this kind of body as well. They could maybe have a tattoo on their heart or a tattoo sleeve or something like that. So we have the second house, we have Mars and we have Gemini. So this is definitely about choice. Gemini is definitely about that duality of choice. It's like figuring out, okay, what's my path? So for you guys, you could be questioning what your path is. And the second house is to do with money, income, work, daily routines. So um, this could be that you're kind of choosing between two like types of work and you're deciding how to go into that. Your person could also be a Gemini as well. And they could have Gemini Mars or you could have Gemini Mars. But I mean, Gemini Mars, they can get quite confused sometimes because Gemini isn't the most decisive sign. Um so I feel like for you guys, you could be definitely at an indecisive stage when you meet this person. 
Um, you could just be figuring out, okay, is this the right thing for me? And it definitely is. It's just having the confidence to know that this is the right thing and not doubting yourself. Because I feel like sometimes your mind can really control control us. Um, like your mind, our minds can really control us. Um, so yeah, just, I feel like you guys are climbing the ladder as well. So I definitely feel like you guys are um, manifesting a job that really suits you and learning to assert yourself in your career. It's going to be a very strong element for you guys. But yeah, I feel like it's definitely an element of dreams as well. I feel like you could get some messages through your dreams. So let's have a look and see about your person. Let's see um, what you're bringing to the relationship going forward, what you're bringing to your future relationship with your new person coming in. Okay, so we have multidimensionality. Let's see what else. We have balance, perfect. So balancing both sides of you, that masculine and the feminine. Okay, it says the frequency of balance supports our ability to find harmony with all aspects of our three-dimensional and multi-dimensional layers of reality. Wow, that's a lot of cards. Okay, so we have time, surrender, and then we also have grace. So this time and surrender is like really I'm really connecting with this. I feel like you guys are learning to have patience with your love life. Just surrendering to the time. So what your person is bringing to the relationship? Attraction. I mean, I did say they'd be walking around shirtless. So, um... <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have coming in. We have freedom. We have divine masculine. The chakra, which is a solar plexus. Let's get one more. Get the number three for you guys. Oh, that, that's number three. That's cool. I love that. And awareness. I love that. So they're bringing awareness to the relationship. Very aware relationship. And yet, what did I say about the throat chakra? Amazing, guys. So definitely learn to talk to each other. And communication is extremely important in any, any type of relationship. Like, if you're not happy, tell the person because they can help you, you know, and if they can't, then it might not be the right relationship, but at least you'd know then, you know, but obviously this is the right relationship, I feel. And that blue's coming in with focus. So it's really focusing more, and if anything, is there anything that you need to improve on with yourself? Is there anything that you don't wanna bring into this new relationship coming forward? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my shop website. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number five. Thank you so much for being here. Let's have a look and see what's coming in for you for the rest of 2020 to do with your love life. So we have Jade. This is a very strong crystal for the heart chakra. Like this is when things are start shifting, you know, like this is a very good crystal to help things shift within your love life. This and Moldavite, very, very good crystal. Very beautiful. I mean, this is mainly to do the heart chakra. Moldavite's even green as well. So both are very, very good for your love life. So we have the sustainer. Oh my God, this reminds me of that scene from Ghost <laughs> with the the molding of the, is it clay? Molding of the clay. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, okay, I love this. So, I mean, that scene is very sensual. Okay, so I feel like that's kind of what you guys are bringing in. And I feel like the relationship you're gonna have, even with yourself, is very sensual. I feel like learning to, figure out what those sensual elements of you are and bringing those to the forefront as well. And then we have the path. So you're directing yourself more towards what it is that you're passionate about. So I also feel like for you guys, there's definitely an element of extremes when you meet this person. So you're most likely gonna have an extreme attraction to this person when they're here. I feel like, like both of you are gonna be like, damn damn okay <laughs> that's literally gonna be what you're gonna say in your mind or even out of your mouth as well um but this your path is is leading you to where you're going so if things feel a little bit confusing right now it's because like the universe is trying to like guide you to your path and trying to like be like eh, get, on, get on the path you know <laughs> um both of you are going to have like an extremely intimate relationship um and there's definitely a very touchy feely vibe i'm getting from this so it's like both of you are like creating something beautiful with each other. And I feel like this is your hand and this is their hand. And it's almost like that element of like, you know, when you have a wedding, you have the couple and they cut the cake together and they're both holding the knife. I feel like that's, that's you together. You're both molding something. I feel like this is you and this is your person and you're both on different paths right now, but then you're going to merge together at some point and then 
meet each other, which is so cute. I love that. It's so intimate. I feel like that's very much a very strong water energy. So you could be a very a strong water sign. We have the 11th house. We have confidence. Okay, so first of all, I feel like with the 11th house, I mean, this is to do with community. It's about coming together as a group. And I feel like it's also to do with independence. So you could be really working on your independence and that comes with confidence, you know? So I feel like you guys are learning interdependency as well. And you're learning to connect with friendships as well. So you could be meeting new friends, but also you can meet this person through a friendship group or like having a common goal. So wherever your path is leading you, that person is going to have that same interest as you, whatever that is, whether that's a hobby, whether that's your job, whether it's a group, both of you are going to have some sort of similar connection and you're both going to meet each other. So it's like you haven't met each other yet. It's like halfway there, you know, not to say you're going to have like another like six months, six years to wait. It's like you are nearly there, you know, like both of you have like half of a moon kind of showing. So it's like both of you are seeing the same thing. So you're probably on a very similar path. And when you meet them, you're going to be like, okay, I've been through this, this, this and this. And they're going to be like, I've been through the exact same thing. <laughs> I've been through the exact same thing. And we have that purple energy here. Um, this is a hepatitia, I think. I don't know if that's how you say it. But um, this is a very, very um, floral, like kind of open energy. Like there's definitely going to be an element of things opening and seeking and finding. And it's both of you are like stars. This is them, this is you, and you're both going to find each other, which is so cute. I love that. And I feel like the more you experiment in your life, the more you're going to meet this person. So it's most likely going to come out of like a new hobby or a rekindling of a hobby that you've already had. Um, but I see you guys meeting at a group or like a fair or something. But it feels very easy. It feels very soon as well. I definitely feel like it is this year. I do see around Christmas, it could be like a Christmas fair as well. Like if you are like selling things, I feel like I can see you guys selling things on a stall. Like that was obviously for some of you guys. But it feels like you guys just have something in common and that's what brings you two together. So you're probably thinking like, oh, I wasn't going to come to this group meeting. Or I wasn't going to come on this group. It could be even like a Zoom call, like between a group, it could be like a meeting for work and you think, who's this new colleague? You know, like this random person. Then you're like, damn, they're really attractive. And then you have this like strong element. You could be like staring at each other on the Zoom call without even like really concentrating on what's actually going on. <laughs> okay, so we have detox your life and clear the clutter, which is pretty much a similar energy. That's like the, I always see this whenever this guy comes out, it reminds me of that masculine energy. You know, it's kind of like the Ace of Wands, a very sensual energy. So I feel like the fact that it's kind of pointing here is showing me that the more you're clearing out what you don't need, the more you've got room for things that you do need and things that you you can manifest. And detoxify your life can come in any form. This could come in detoxifying old relationships. It can come in the form of detoxifying old habits, old uh, wounds you think like anything you negatively think about yourself that is starting to release the cluster can also be physically but it can also be mentally as well so if there's anything that doesn't serve you this is a time to really release that and I feel like you've been very internal recently and now things are going to start to become more external we're going to start to see physical manifestations coming in your life so if money or um, new friendships new rekindling old romances I'm hearing so that could be somebody who you didn't really, I don't, for those of you, if it's an old person, like from the past, not literally old, I mean, maybe they're old in age, but I feel like somebody you knew in the past, I feel like this is somebody who's not toxic. This is someone who you most likely were friends with and nothing ever really came of it. And now you guys are both ready for like that connection. I feel like the masculine in the relationship um, or the more dominant figure was the one who had the kind of like issues. And obviously there's no like issues. It's just things that we learn along the way. But this person's really learned their lessons and now they're coming back to you, I feel. So that's obviously for some of you, but not for everyone. Okay. And I feel like your newfound confidence is coming in now because this is where things are going to start to speed up, I feel, for you guys. Things are really going to start to uh, speed up. And you're definitely going to meet this person through friends, I feel, or through like a group situation. Okay, so I do feel like for some of you guys, you can meet this person uh, through work. Um, it could be over over abroad as well i'm hearing um could even be through family members especially if your family members are abroad or they're in a different country um obviously travel is a little bit of an issue right now but when you meet them it's not going to be an issue so whatever that means in terms of like no restrictions 
or it just means that they are, they do live quite close to you but they could even be from a different country but live in the same country as you so when they're born could be in a different country um, they could also have quite an interesting in building things they could have an interest in building like legos and things like that or they could have an interest in just countries and the world and uh, they could have an interest in cars as well um, we have the five of swords here so a lot of you guys have been kind of sinking into your emotions recently or have been in the past and now you're starting to move out of that but if you're still in it just let it be there you know and sometimes distract yourself is probably the best way to to deal with it obviously if that feels healthy for you um just dealing with dealing with it in the best way possible and i feel like a lot of you guys are craving chocolate like i just felt that really strongly um or you could meet this person bonding over chocolate so if your first date could be like out shopping and then you go to like a chocolate shop or something uh could even be like a chocolate taste test kind of day i don't know it feels like that really strongly but with the hangman i feel like this is giving me like really strong virgo vibes so this person could be a virgo i feel like they're just very sensual so whoever they are they do have a very strong sensual vibe um they're very touchy feely so they could also be a taurus or a scorpio as well we have the three of cups so this is you most likely it does seem like you meet someone in a really random way and then you're kind of debating whether they're the right person it kind of distracts you away from your responsibilities but also it, it really empowers you to feel like okay yes i finally manifested that person i've been waiting so long for but and then also because you're in that mode of receptivity you're going to manifest some really good things in your career as well and this person's going to be very unique and productive and that's going to rub off on you as well and i feel like you're very unique and productive as well um you're you use your attributes for money so possibly you have obviously we all use our personalities in different ways and for you guys i feel like you're very creative or you're very innovative like you have a lot of ideas you're most likely going to want to be a boss or you are a boss in your life sort of thing in terms of career i just feel like you're very good at commanding a room but you're also very chill about it like it doesn't really bother you but some of you guys that's where the confidence is going to come in like maybe you never thought you could kind of um command a room or have that confidence in a group setting but now you can and um there's definitely growth coming out of that as well so let's see who this person is a little bit more detail coming in all right so the scorpio energy has been coming through really strongly in these readings which i love because i'm a scorpio myself so we love we love that so we have scorpio moon so you could literally have scorpio moon uh or this person could have scorpio moon with the fourth house energy this is all about your home your family your roots emotions you know mother and women so that's also cancerian energy so this cancer moon that's kind of um that's been really bringing up a lot of emotions for you guys it's also i feel like shifted you to a more comfortable place so if you're not in that comfortable place yet that's going to come but if you are there already i feel like you're now on the the verge to meeting your person like pretty soon i feel like you're ready to um evolve in in your romantic part of your life and your love life um and it's also with with love life you know it is giving up a part of yourself because you know not literally giving up a part of yourself because obviously you know that's not a, a pure relationship but with any relationship you are exchanging that energy so the more confident you are within yourself <clears throat> the more grounded you are excuse me then the more it's not going to be a problem being around this person it's just going to feel completely natural and you could meet this person around your home so you could be uh self-employed or you could be working from home a lot especially with this uh virus situation um but also you could literally meet this person around your home i'm feeling like a train station for some reason that's coming in really strongly and my ear is ringing when i'm saying that so that could come in very very strongly okay and very intimate just scorpio is such an intimate sign so i feel like that's going to be really really beautiful so let's see what you're bringing to this relationship you want to come out you want to give me a card <laughs> let's see okay we have awareness so there's definitely a newfound awareness that you're that you're having to do with intimacy and relationships this could just be awareness for yourself as well it doesn't even have to do with the other person okay we have the third chakra that is literally about confidence so i love the fact we have that in another deck as well solar plexus is also to do with um it's where anxiety comes from as well so you may feel a little bit anxious when you're around this person like first of all just because it's someone new but it's going to feel really really it's going to feel comfortable after a while and we have integrity so the energy of integrity supports our choice to be consistently truthful and honest 
while being guided by high moral standards. So I feel that you guys are learning to have boundaries and you have very strong standards for yourself. So the more you do that, the more you can really command, you know, what you want in the relationship. And that's so important. Like getting your needs met is number one. And then also meet the needs of the other person. There we go, beautiful. So they have the more intimate chakra, the creative chakra. So these two are literally right next to each other on the chakra scale. I don't know what it's called, the chakra line. Literally both right next to each other. So the sacred chakra is more to do with intimacy, to do with creativity, and also expression. So this person is going to bring a lot of that into the relationship. And that is also this masculine, strong masculine energy. And this is, if you're not Obviously, it doesn't have to be masculine, but it feels more of a dominant energy. So I feel like this person's going to bring in that confidence and that dominance to the relationship, but so are you. So you're both going to be coming in together. This card has come out three times today. That is insane. So definitely a lot of you guys are connecting with Divine Masculines, which is so cool. I love that. And commitment. So that's so good. So definitely a strong foundation coming in. And there's definitely an element with the Scorpio and the fourth house and the moon this is to do with safety. So the more safe you feel by yourself on your own, the more you're gonna feel safe with this person because you're gonna be able to commit and be able to move forward. Because sometimes when we meet someone, we can be so damn scared of like letting ourselves be vulnerable that we can like push this person aside or we can stop the relationship from happening. So I feel like working on your safety and working on what makes you feel comfortable is so, 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 so important. And the colour purple is really, I'm really drawn to that, especially today with my nails and the candles. Um, but that's all to do with the crown chakra and your intuition. So working with your intuition and knowing when things feel right and things don't feel right, it's very important. So tuning into yourself and really giving yourself patience to, um, to discover yourself and understand yourself. And this extremes energy also comes with figuring out what your intimacy levels are and what makes you feel good. And, you know, there's those love languages that a lot of people talk about. And if you don't know what the love languages are, there's five different love languages. And for example, there's like a uh, physical touch, there's uh, communication, there is um, acts of service. So like doing hoovering for somebody or, you know, cooking for somebody, you know, there's every, there's five different love languages. And I kind of want to do a video on this at some point, maybe if you guys are interested. Um, there's there's lots of content on it about uh, on, about it on YouTube. So if you guys are ever interested, then go check it out. You know, um, but let me know if you want me to do a video on it because I'm I'm fascinated by it. It's so incredibly fascinating. But everyone has their own love language, um, and discovering what yours is is going to help you to understand yourself, and therefore tell your person what it is that you need because they may be more physical but you may be more of someone who wants to do acts of service you know and it's understanding when you two know each other's love languages you can really support each other and um that's a, that's a beautiful part of the relationship is where you're both understanding each other and because you're doing that you're then having a much more healthy sustainable relationship instead of like ignoring each other's love languages or not even understanding it because if we we go into a relationship with our own understanding so if we can the more we can understand more about ourselves the more we can tell this person what it is that we need so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe and if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and also with my crystal uh, online shop is also there as well so thank you so much for being here i love you guys so much and i'll speak to you soon much love bye